Number one asks us or tells us that in 1990, the value of a home is 170,000. Since then, its value has increased by 5% per year. What is the approximate value of the home in 1993? So we've got the initial value of 170,000. Then it's increasing by 5%. So it has its original 100% in value plus another 5%. So this is increasing or the growth factor is going to be 105%. But as a decimal, that's 1.05. So the growth factor is 1.05. And then we've got 1990 to 1993. That's three years. So 170,000 times 1.05 to the third, that's going to give us an approximate value of $196,796.25. Then it wants us to write an equation in function notation to represent the value of the home as a function of time in years since 1990 and call that T. So I'm going to say we're going to do value, okay? So the value um, based on the number of years is going to be equal to the initial value of the house, 170,000, times the growth factor to the T power. So if we want it after five years, we'd plug in five. Ten years, we'd plug in ten. So in part C, then we want to figure out what the value of the home is. Um, Will the value of the home be more than 500000 in 2020, assuming it keeps increasing at that 5%? So now remember that the initial year is 1990. So what we want to figure out is how far is 2020 from 1990. So 2020 minus 1990 means that we're looking at 30 years later. So we're going to take this function here. And we're going to plug in 30. So we're going to do 170,000 times 1.05 to the 30th. So we're looking at after 30 years. So then the value of this house after 30 years um, is going to be 734,000. $730.20. So yes, it's going to be over that $500,000. Number two, the graph of the graph shows the wolf population has been growing exponentially. What was the population when it was first measured. Okay. So when it was first measured at zero years, this population was here and it looks like each of these is counting by twenties. So this is going to be at 100. Um, so the initial wolf population was 100. By what factor did the population grow in the first year? So now we're looking at this one year growth. So at one year, the population is at 120. So we want the factor of growth. So we're taking the new number of wolves divided by the original. So 120 divided by 100, and we get a growth factor of 1.2. So then we'll use that to write the equation, right? So the wolf population, um, oops, they want us to use W. So the wolf population after a certain number of years that they want us to do T, so I have W and T here, is going to equal the initial wolf population of 100 times the growth factor to the exponent of the number of years. So 100 times 1.2 to the T. Number three, here's the graph of an exponential function f. Find an equation defining f. So very similar to what we just did. So we need to come up with the initial amount. And then we're going to need the growth factor. And then we'll write the equation. So here um, we're looking at this is 200. So this is 100. So it's looking like the initial population is at 50. 
So then we can take a look after one year and see that it goes to 100. So this one was at 50. After one year, it's at 100. Let's make sure that that keeps going since we're not sure if this is 50. So at two, it's at 200. After three years, it's at 400. So that does appear to be correct because we can see that this is doubling each year. So 50 times two is 100, times two is 200, times two is 400. So our growth factor is two. So then we can write our function um, as a function of x. So f of x equals our initial amount times our growth factor um, and then in this case to the x since our input is x. Number four, the equation f of t equals 24,500 times 0.88 to the t represents the value of a car in dollars t years after it was purchased. So what do these two numbers represent? Well, this represents the purchase price or what it was worth um, initially when it was bought. And then 0.88 is the growth factor or in this case, the decay factor, right? Because it's less than one. So this means that this car is only keeping 88% of its value each year. So it's decreasing by 12%. So what does F of nine represent? It represents the value of the car after nine years or nine years after it was purchased didn't ask us to actually find it. Um, in part C, sketch a graph that represents the function for these values. So let's plug these in. So f of zero, okay, so 0.88 to the zero is one times 24,500 is just 24,500 because that's how much it was worth in the first year or at year zero. So now we'll do um, 24,000 times 0.88, because we're doing it to the one. So after the first year, so times 0.88. So this one's gonna give us 21,560. And then we'll multiply by 0.88 again for this next one. And that's giving us 18,972.8. So this just wants us to sketch this. So at zero, one, and two, and so now we need to get up to about 25,000. Um, so if I just count by tens, so this is um, 10,000, 20,000. So then these would each be about 5,000. So I'll just label this one at 20,000. So at zero, this was at 24,500. After one year, it's at 21,500. And after two years, it's at like 18, 19,000. So then this would be just kind of a sketch of that. Number five, the first two terms of an exponential sequence are 18 and six. What are the next three terms? So remember that an exponential sequence is also a geometric sequence. It means it's growing or decaying by the same factor. So in this case, we're dividing by three. So then we'll do six divided by three is two, and we need the next three terms. So then divide by two again, so two thirds, and then divide by three again, so that's gonna be two ninths. Because remember, dividing by three is the same as multiplying by one third. So then this would be two times one on top and three times three on bottom to get us that. Number six, a bacteria population has been doubling each day for the last five days. So we know doubling is a growth factor of times by two. It is currently at 100,000. So what was the bacterial population five days ago? So now we have 100,000 up here. And then we want to look at one, one day prior, two days prior, three days prior, four days prior, and then five days prior. So what did it start at? 
So now if the growth factor, if we would take this and it's going to multiply by two each time to be growing, then if we want to go backwards, we're going to have to divide by two. So 100,000 divided by two is going to be 50,000. And then 50,000 divided by two is 25,000. And then 25,000 divided by two is 12,500. Divided by two is 6,250. Divided by two again is 3,125 is where it started five days ago. Number seven, select all expressions that are equivalent to 27 to the one third power. So a couple different ways we can write this before we get started. Remember a one third power is like a cube root. So cube root of 27. And then remember that 27 is three to the third power. So the cube root of 27 is just three. So those are a couple different ways to write that. So let's take a look. It's definitely not nine because nine to the third power is not 27. 3 to the third power is 27, so b is good. It's not the square root of 27, it's the cube root of 27. So c is bad, but d is good. It is e because that's 27 is 3 cubed. So, the, um, so this part in here is the same as 27. So this is equivalent to the cube root of 27. 1 27th, no because it's equal to three and three and one twenty seventh are not the same thing. And neither is one over 27 to the third power. So B, D and E.